Welcome to this episode of Project EDU. This particular episode is going to focus on the platform that I'm going to be using for this project of mine. Remember that Project EDU is going to be both a learning project for me and as a resource primarily for teachers but anybody interested in building bots. So this episode is going to focus on the mechanical platform that I'm going to be using. What I've chosen to go with is this more robust platform figuring that it will allow me greater flexibility in adding sensors as I need to, uh, a little bit greater control over the other kinds of things I would like to do, uh, rather than going with a smaller platform or something that is not as rugged. Uh, what I chose on this one is to build a four-wheel drive system. In this particular case, I have one motor for each side. This motor on this side is driving this wheel and then through a chain driving the wheel on the same side. The other motor on the other side is located at this wheel and then again through chain drive driving the wheel on the same side. What I've also done is arrange the bot in a way that I've got a number of different levels. The first level, this lower level, I've made so that I can contain all of my motors my motor controllers, those type of items. The inner area here is going to be for things like batteries, uh, other peripheral types of controllers and boards and miscellany. And then the uppermost level will be for my microcontroller or anything else I decide. So this is going to be pretty good. It's going to be, give me a great bit of uh, flexibility in what I can do. What I've also chosen to add on this spot is a power switch. Uh, the power switch I can configure one of two ways. Uh, it could be configured so it's just for the power to the motors or power to the entire system. Uh, I haven't decided whether I'll do that with a single switch or multiple switches. I've also added this strobe at the top of my bot. I haven't come across it through some discarded items, so I'll use that as somewhat of a warning device as it's uh, navigating and traversing. So I think this project will be a, a good one. What I'm going to be using for my power source initially will be a lead-acid battery. Not the greatest in terms of energy density, but not a, a bad starting point either. All right, that concludes this episode of Project EDU. See you in the next episode as I go through the process of configuring this for remote control using a transmitter, looking at a couple different things, and progressing to adding sensors and microcontrollers and more sophisticated kinds of options. So until next time, see you later.